Too sharp. All right, so before we get into the mess, I figured it was really smart. Oh man, I should have cleaned this lens like I'm about to clean this truck because I don't want crap in my eyes. There's this old guy, his name was like, uh, not Bob Vila, what was that other guy? The new Yankee guy? Norm, Norm Abrams. Most important safety tool you could ever wear, these guys right here. You only got one set of eyes. And you don't want all this degreaser and crap that's dripping down there and all the crud from the bottom getting in your, your eyeballs. Let's clean this thing up. Fire up the other camera. And just like that, we're airborne. Now that the tire's out of the way, it's easy to see all the work we have ahead of us. We're going to get these shocks out of the way first. This sway bar's got to come off. And we can get down underneath and get these torsion bars out of here. You can see just what a job it was getting everything pressure washed in that last video. And how much it helped. Because, yeah, look, you can actually find the bolts to the sway bar. That's helpful. Okay, Timberland Pro, if you're watching... Uh, these gloves are great. They didn't give them to me. I bought them on my own money. If they rip, don't buy them. However, if they survive this project, maybe go buy two pairs. I tried. That was cute. We're gonna let this one soak for a little bit. Do what you gotta do. I'll stay out the way. There we go. All right, so driver's side does not want to come out. It is to the point where you can see the threads up here. I'll try and focus in are just stripped, galled and spinning and cannot turn any further. So the gap that is created by that wrench that's stuck in there, that's where I'm gonna insert a Sawzall blade. Since we're never using these torsion bars again, bye bye bolt, I don't care. Got to make way for some airbags. Owned this house, I had never used this sawzall on a house. Really? I mean, I was like, people use this for construction. <laughs> Here goes my knuckles. Did it slip out or is that it? I think it slipped out. Yeah, it popped out. Popped out and I cut through bio 2 sensor. Oh, shit. I wouldn't care. <laughs> now I can't get it out. Oh, it must have already cut it because it's bending. There it goes. Yeah, I was gonna say it must have already. Yep. Or two. All right. So you can see the way these are all grooved and notched. A lot of times you'll hear guys that do trucks or cars that do static and they talk about cranking your torsion bars, pulling your torsion bars out. Okay, so in case there's some kind of video footage missing between here and there and there and here and well where we're at now, trust me, you didn't miss much. Okay, I got the shock out. I unbolted my upper. I'll probably end up taking this all apart for clearance, get in here, check it all out. But right now, I just unbolted it so I can get in here and, you know, kind of see everything. I think this stuff's gonna have to go. This is gonna have to go. This upper shock mount's gonna have to go. All this is gonna have to get cut out before we start playing with uh, putting our bag mounts in. So, might as well get to it. Fast forward to a lot of cutting and grinding later and it looks like it would have been easier to come in here and just cut along this weld to here and then across. You can see there's like a weld right here from the cross member. Probably should have just cut that weld and then came straight across there and there, but yeah, you know, nothing we can't plate back in and at least we learned for the other side. So let's go ahead and finish getting this off. All right, let's do some progress updates. Hopefully it's not all blown out with this bright sun behind me, but it totally is. 
Maybe we come from this side. Oh, that's so much better. All right, progress update. All that brackets out the way. Time for a test fit. Yeah, looks like there's plenty of room. We'll need to go ahead and box this guy back into the frame. That's our control arm support, our upper control arm support. And then we'll have to box this back in. That's our cross member support. Then we'll uh, get the truck level. See where the lower, see, I don't know why I keep going that way. See where the lower plate needs to go and the top plate needs to go, get everything tacked and take her for a, uh, Take it for a test drive, I guess, up and down with the jack at least, and make sure everything clears. You can see I just got a couple of bolts holding that control arm in right now, but just a rough idea of seeing if I need to cut any more before I can get into the uh, <clears throat> the welding. Man, I hate to use the word fabricating part of this thing. I certainly am not, but uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. All right, there is some metal dust all over this camera. It's smudgy as hell because I've been using these little mittens right here to wipe that which is never a good thing on your camera equipment so i apologize if i look smudgy or dirty or whatever and now that i said it you're probably going to be looking for it but let's get to work passenger side got everything disconnected so we can get in here where we need to you can see the shocks out of the way bump stops gotta go we gotta cut into this cross member and get rid of all this metal get rid of this guy Cut all the way into here, get this all reinforced, clean this up, get a plate on, get a plate on, get an airbag in here. Once all that's done, well, she'll look as good as the other side. All right, I want to make you guys proud. I used a lens wipe, so hopefully I look a little bit better. Let's get in here and take a look at where we're at. So I've got all the metal removed and everything cleared out where I need to be. You can see, and I don't mind sharing this with you guys, this cut is crooked as hell. I mean, like, that's bad. And it's not crazy bad. I was trying to level it this way, and my frame rail runs that way. So that makes it look a little bit worse. But uh, I'll come in here and I'll straight edge this and clear this up before we cap it. But um, in the essence of peeling back the curtain, I'm not perfect. I don't know what the heck I'm doing, but it's all fixable with either time or your money. So we'll straighten that out. We'll get that plated in. We'll get this guy plated in and reinforced. And then I'll go ahead and get some bag brackets going in here. Um, lower mount is just gonna be figuring out the position. Get a couple of tacks on it, make sure we like it. Upper mount, we're gonna have to match the same angle as the bottom, get that in. Do our squish test of around three inches because your bag collapsed is around three inches. So we want that set the same as the bottom. Nice spacing, get the bolts in. You can see I didn't cut this out of the way yet. I will end up cutting this off. No need to have this shock tab here. Um, it's never gonna get used in that location. Probably gonna move these brake tabs back and get our shocks going in this area down to the lower control arm. But that's that's later on. Right now, let's, let's stay focused. Let's get this boxed in, cleaned up, and ready to get some bag mounts in. So something happened last night when I decided to work late. Oh yes, that's bags in there. The bumper's gonna look a lot better on that. Uh, I threw a couple of bolts in the fender just to take a look at it. All right, so everything's just loosely set in place. Only got a couple of, couple of bolts holding the fender on and a couple of bolts holding the bumper on. Just wanted to see kind of where it sits yeah so three inch body drop with this bumper definitely not gonna work but uh looks pretty cool with just you know just this situation
and her 